Hey folks, in this video, we're going to be creating our own React standalone project with NX. Standalone projects are a new feature that we added in NX 15.3 as a way of creating a workspace for a single application. To create a React standalone project, we'll run the command npx create NX workspace at latest. And when prompted, we'll select standalone React. When we finish answering the remaining questions, we'll have created our workspace. In the rest of this video, we'll show you how to take advantage of the core features of NX, including code generation, the project graph, task running, and task pipelines. We'll take a look at code generation first, and we've actually already seen NX code generation in action when we ran the command to first create our repo. For this example, let's add two libraries to our project, a cart library for a cart route that we'll add later, and then a UI library we'll use to hold our presentational components. So we'll use NX again to generate those libs using the command npx nxg for generate lib cart and npx nxg lib UI. For both of these, we'll use the React libraries generator and Vite as our bundler. Now that these libs have been created, we can visualize our project graph by running the command npx nx graph. We can see three nodes in our graph corresponding to the three code generation scripts that we ran our store app, our cart library, and our UI library. We can also see that there are no edges between these nodes right now, but next I'm going to make some changes to our projects, and as I do, we'll see the project graph above me update in real time. We'll start by adding routing to our app by installing React Router and adding Browser Router in our main.tsx file. Then we'll add routes to our app.tsx file, and we'll create a shop component here in app.tsx for our root route. Next, we'll go into the cart.txx file that was generated and see that a cart component was already created for us. So we'll go back to our app.tsx file and import that cart from our library and add it to our routes. As we hit save here, we can see that a new edge has formed on our graph between our cart and store projects, where store now depends on cart. We'll keep going by creating a simple banner component inside of the UI library and we'll export it from the index.ts file of our UI library. Now let's import it into our shop component in app.tsx and use it. Notice again, as we hit save, a new edge in our graph is added between store and UI. We also want to use the banner in our cart component, so we'll import it into our cart.tsx file as well. And again, as we hit save, we'll see that our graph updates to show a new edge between cart and UI. The visualization here of dependencies is a helpful tool for understanding how the different modules of our project interact. NX also uses this information to help automate task pipelines, as we'll see later in this video. But first, let's jump into task running. When we talk about task running, we're talking about tasks like building an application, serving a local web server with that built application, running unit tests, linting our code, and running end-to-end -end tests. If you're familiar with JavaScript projects, you'd probably have a command for each one of these in the scripts property of your package.json file for these tasks. When using NX, any scripts that we add to our package.json file can be run as a task. See here, we added a script named foo to our package.json file. We can now run that task by running the command npx nx foo. In addition to adding scripts to our package.json file, tasks are also defined in the targets property of project.json files contained in each project. Looking at our ui slash project.json file, we can see that there are three tasks that were created for us, lint, build, and test. We can run the test target with the command npx nx test ui. This will run the listed executor with the provided options. We can think of executors as a way of defining tasks for our projects, with options as a way of parameterizing those executors. To see a list of all the options available to us, we can run the command npx test ui dash dash help. We can add these options to our project JSON file. For instance, I'll add watch true to the options of our test target. And now when we run npx test UI, our tests will run in watch mode. If we back out that change, we can see that we can also add the dash dash watch option here via the command line to use those options at the terminal level as well. Notice too that if we ever run the same task twice, NX will use its built-in task caching to make the task happen nearly instantly. In addition, this will replay any changes to your file system based on the outputs property provided in project.json. Now that we know how to run tasks, let's use it to build our store application. To do this, we can run npx nx build. Notice that before we start building our store application, nx will run all the tasks that a build to our root project depends on before running the task in question. For a build to our store application, the dependent tasks were the UI libraries build task and the cart libraries build task. nx was able to determine dependent tasks using first the project graph that we looked at earlier in this video, and secondly, the configuration 
information that was generated for us in the annex.json file. This line here shows that every build target depends on the build of all dependent projects as signified by this caret character. We can see here too that annex caching is intelligent enough that if we were to run annex build UI first before running the build on our store, that it will retrieve the UI's build from the cache instead of actually building it inside of the store's build. Notice too that if we were to replay our original build, we can see that annex is coordinating and ordering these builds so that UI will build first and then cart will build before the targeted store app is built. We can see that if we were to remove the dependency between cart and UI by removing the banner from our cart component, our project graph would change automatically. And therefore our task pipeline would also change automatically to allow the UI and cart builds to run in parallel. This shows the real power of NX task pipelines as between the project graph and task configurations, we can be sure that our pipeline will remain fully optimized as our workspace continues to grow without us ever having to manually configure this pipeline. And as of NX 15.3, you can fully visualize the task graph using the NX graph tool. Yuri actually did a whole video on this tool last week, and I highly recommend checking that out next.